if you look at the synthetic data UI, there's one thing that is very clearly missing. We have stuff for audio, we have stuff for images, but nothing for other time series data. And that never set well. And the reason that we couldn't do that is because there are no big Gen AI models that can just spit out time series data. I can't ask ChatGPT to go give me some fake rotating machine uh, anomaly data on an accelerometer. So our DSP team has worked really hard to go build a hybrid uh, thing. So not completely synthetic, but sort of augmentation thing for time series data that we're shipping today. If you're an enterprise plan, you can use that. And rather than say, hey, I'm going to create something that's completely synthetic, we can take your current data set, your current time series data set, decompose the samples into uh, the trend, seasonality, and uh, noise, and then either manipulate one of those um, decomposed fragments of your data, or actually say, well, we're going to take the decomposed values from multiple samples and then combine them back together into completely artificial new samples. And we've rolled this out, like we didn't just come up with this on our own. We rolled this out with a leading customer in wearable space, and we've seen actually an 8% point increase in their very challenging to, to collect data sets with the same data just by adding synthetically augmented time series data.